Hello everybody and welcome back. Just in time because we are now the head of the culture for Bavarian so we can now well decide what we want to actually focus on. In my case here I'm going with the hereditary rule so that we can enact the partition law which will then um, let me choose that I have oh wait a second communal government. Counties now reach a maximum. Ah, it's so close. Let's just finish this one. It should not take, yeah, nine months, right? So we can go with that. And then I would like to go with some new um, hereditary rule. But we are now the head of Bavarian culture. Isn't that amazing? In one lifetime, we converted to it and now we are the head of it. That is pretty cool. And my realm so far stands. No problem here. What we can see though is Sundgau. What is happening in Sundgau? They don't have anyone yet at the moment. Um, we might actually just get them, right? Why are they independent? I have no idea. They are not really strong either. Let's just pause the game real quick before something changes. He's got no allies, right? It And Zurich is part of it once again. Oh god. But we might just have it seize the Schur county for the county of Zurich. Seize the Schur, um, Prince Ulrich claim. It's all about Zurich, really, right? And the Duchy of Alsace, we could also gain with that. But I really would like to go with Zurich there. We would have it then, really. We gain the title, right? It's not a vassal anymore or something like that. But we can really go with that. It only costs us 45 prestige. So in that regard, I don't have any allies as well. But I have a strong power um, at hand. And of course, we're going with that. Let's just change my rally point to here. Um, raise my armies then. And speaking of armies, I do have the money. Let's also increase the size of it. We do have some light horsemen that I would like to increase in size. We do have the heavy armored footmen. They are really powerful that I would like to increase in size as well. And thus they have been raised. And let's just go for that. Um, the Duchy of Alsace still belongs to me though. Oh, nine, 1,900. They are actually raised. And down they are. No idea why they raised so many there once again. He's got quite a lot of money, right? Not anymore. But nice recovery there on his part. Um, I've discovered that Duke Leodolf's inherited contract obliges him to more than you have collected. Uh, fuel taxes are increased for him. He's in prison anyway, so he cannot really do anything there. And let's defeat them once again. Very good. And we have discovered the fascination of communal government. So let's just switch to hered hereditary rules there. All right. Of course, undone. The twists and turns of fate have not always been in my advantage. Um, God know that I was cursed to the day to my secret. Today, however, the curse has been... Oh, he was my rival. And we lose a lot of stress with that. And the mental break went on desires. What... Lately, it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by... Uh, once again? He's no longer my friend. Only solitude will help. Um, oh, we spent 250 piety. No, let's let's go with the... We're no longer friend with Matthias. He was boring us anyway. Can we finally go now against Zurich, please? And take it. Thank you very much. This has been way too long. Paying for the war wars are expensive. Uh, with my treasury rapidly emptying, I th need to think about how we'll pay to keep my soldiers on the field. Um, Switch of lifestyle experience the marshal. 84% chance that he succeeds. And it succeeded. For years, my skill in manners and etiquette has served me well and occurs to me that this knowledge may also be of use to you, my brother and steward. Um... Either 45% that we get diplomacy or we get even more diplomacy. Yes. And we have taken the maximum amount. Look at that. Zurich is really hard to take there. It's a fort. We also have some new lifestyle experience there once again. And independence factions. So my vassals are no longer or less likely to join independence factions. That is. Righto. And yeah, speaking of allies, I don't have any ally at the moment. Right. Um, I do have my spouse, who is pretty old. How is my son doing? My son is now 11. Um, he still has a guardian. Very good. Still the same guardian with the thrifty clerk. So that is still something. Um, and he's still betrothed there. So he has the alliance there with her then of the Byzantine Empire. So my son is fine. Um, I'm not though. I have a powerful army at the moment. This is good. I do have lots of money for mercenaries. This is good too. But then again, I don't have 
All right, there we have 100%. Let's enforce the demands real quick there. And we do gain storage by that. Let's lay down my army, spend them. Very good. There we have it. And Zurich is now under my direct control. That is very important. So we can now increase the control in Zurich. Oh, wait a second. Is this high already? No, it's pretty low. All right, we are doing it in Trento, Trento right now. There was low control here as well. Um, we're also converting Trent here to um, Bavarian culture, which, of course, we should be doing. I could create the Duchy of Augsburg once again. Didn't I usurp the title already? No, I'm not going to do that, though. It stays within me. How's the grand scheme of things? Frank here is not looking so good at the moment, is it? There's an independence war. Burgundy is at independence war. Yeah, the Liberty War. Which we're losing. So Frank here is no longer going to be a big empire, it seems. Where is my leech? This guy here. He's pretty weak. He's losing two wars there at the moment. Might be a good idea for us to also go independence war, right? Then we could join Bavaria. No, we can't because Bavaria is a kingdom. As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. Innsbruck will prosper. Innsbruck gets the cattle herd. Oh, we risk something and we get a large cattle herd. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> it failed again. 80% and it failed. I hereby invite you to another feast there. Yes. Do we want to be friends again? Yes. And we gain some new friendship with him once again. And we lose some stress in the process. My emperor once again is being attacked by yet another faction. So there are three wars for him now. And I'm returning home. A guild of stonemasons has established itself in the county of Grisons. Having the dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. I will strike a deal. This... Oh. It's not that sure. I would lose a lot of money, but I do get the cooperative stonemason anyway, right? It's just a chance of how much do I spend in, in case. If it's successful, I gain some prestige. If it's not successful, I actually lose some 120 coin. And if it absolutely fails, I lose 240 coin. Mm. Yes. How's it going? And after a lengthy audience, the chief mason will budge no further. For a lower price than this, it cannot be done. And yeah, well, it's the middle ground. We spend some coin, but we do gain lots of development growth there. A claim on Zurich. Alright, she's got a claim now on Zurich there. She might wage war then for it. Yeah, but she's not really strong. And yeah, my leech lost the war there. He's losing quite a lot of wars. We also think Lombardia here is independent. Interesting. It's... Is it? Yeah, it's not close. Yeah, it's, it's kind of in the middle here. And Geneva is also independent at the moment. These are easy-picking counties, you know, so they're really weak. But they're too far away. We also have Sundgau. And Sundgau is right next to me and still independent. So we might go with it. We have a truce, of course. Breaking that truce. Um, you will break the truce and you gain broke truce. General opinion minus 50. That is just too high of a penalty. I cannot have that. Ah, god damn it. How long is it going? Until 1074. He will not be independent by then. She wants to leave. She's my courtier. She's not really good. She's got a claim on Sundgau, Geneva and Como. Give me one more year. Perhaps we might go with something here. But they're too far away and I would have a huge problem them facing it. Alright, we also have lots of money there at hand once again. So I really would like to invest that into some more powerful stuff. We could upgrade the hill fort here. Gives me even more um, defender advantage then. And some, well, garrison size here as well. And the fort of course. So let's, let's increase the size of it. Um, I think I could also increase the size of my castle itself. If I want to. The city. We might upgrade the city. But that's really expensive. Oh, we don't have the tag for it. We need the windmill tag before we can do that. The windmill tag. Let's just check that. Do we have that in early medieval time? No, we don't. That is actually something for high medieval then. Yep, there it is. 
Okay, we cannot advance there yet. We are bound by that. Um, we actually, I think, have the tax now for this. We ha we reach it in six years. Then we have the high medieval era. Very good. So we're perfectly in time there. Um, hereditary rules goes and coinage. I would really like to go as well. Um, my air though is going to be really good. Oh, I'm very good at learning too. Did not know that. Um, one more point. Powerful vassal counselor tax contribution and level contribution increases. And then we are very close to the administrator um, trade there. We have 5,000 soldiers right now. There are fair stretches of unsettled land in the county of Innsbruck, often blamed on unsuitable terrain. Um, my steward has suggested that an irrigation project might be it arable and thereby valuable. Um, new ad aqueduct. Oh, very good. Control and development growth. 130 coin. We do have the money. And my appointed uh, assistant architect has come to me requesting that I spend even more on my aqueduct project in the county of Innsbruck. Even more. We spent another 75 um, prestige. Or, yeah, let's let's spend some prestige. The project continues. Right, we did not finish it right away then. There's a ransom. Oh, is my daughter once again in prison? What? She was free already. What is going on with her? I'm not paying for her. Um, oh god, we do have a really bad guy at this. Yeah, 9 stewardship. After there is no competent architects in my realm, my new assistant architect overseeing the aqua construction in Innsbruck has also been running over budget. Um, we have to pay another 130 coin. But now the project is completed. Hopefully. Right, my vassals like me though. Um, let's disrupt schemes once again for my... Or actually, should we find some schemes or some secrets there? I think especially of my... Yeah, Emperor might be a good thing. Gain some hook on him. I'm present to witness the last stones being placed in my new aqueduct in the county of Innsbruck. My steward holds out a cup and catches the first few drops of flowing water before offering it to me. The ground is still hard and inhospitable and much work remains, but the water is fresh and will in time bring new life to the soil. And we gain a lifestyle perk and yeah, Innsbruck prospers even more. And with that, we can finish now the administrator trade and gain even more stewardship points. Very good. And we can actually hold up to nine domains right now. And hopefully my son, who already got some very nice traits here, will have the learned stewardship one. Alright, Trent, how's it looking here? We're still converting them and increasing control. Control is pretty high there now as well. And we also have Altsee, which is our core county. So we should do something here. We have a city here. Can we go with a second city? No, a temple we can. Right, that gives me piety, but I don't care about that. We might upgrade the city. That gives me 0 0.6 more money and more levies and garrison. And it would become a large city then. 500 coin, though, is a lot. Piting. Or the pastures. Yeah, let's make it small. Let's upgrade the pastures to homesteads for now. Make some smaller upgrades here and there for Innsbruck. Already have the large one. We cannot construct while there's any other construction ongoing. Zurich, on the other hand, also belongs to us, of course. We have two cities here, Schwitz and Engelberg. Engelberg we might upgrade. Uh, as long as control is so low, I'm not doing that. We're still losing. Oh, my emperor is still losing wars. He is really weak at the moment. We might go independent. And I'm also starting a murder scheme now against my wife because she's too old. Um, I can still make some babies, you know, if I get a young one. Um, plus, I also need some alliances, so this is pretty important. Let's um, make this one work. Um, my spy master is helping me with that. Um, my spy master dudes approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains a powder most nefarious. Alright, she's gains not feeling well for quite some time. Do I feel bad about this, murdering my wife? Nah, I think it's it's necessary, right? Ah, 92% chance is still too low for me. 
Let's go with a cheaper one there as well to really make the deal and hope for the best. Sorry, poor wife. And my leech lost another war. And we also gain a new perk. Let's see. I think Architect is the one that we want to go with. Building construction cost is reduced for all the things. Um, and this is the one that I want to go with. Very powerful traits that we have there. Uninvited and spiders in her bed. Let's kill her. And she's dead. I no longer have a wife, so it's time to find a new one. A potential good one, powerful one. Let's have a look at the lion's power. Kumar we have. <laughs> they're far away and they're not powerful. Oh god, there's no, not any powerful one. Leon right now would be something close to powerful, I guess. Uh, quick. Do we have someone that is extremely fertile? That might be a good thing. Let's just have a look at that. Alright, it's not looking good there right now. I'm going to wait at least a year and then we're trying it again to get something better out of it. Um, the only thing that I could think of is Kachen here, but that is even then a weak one. Um, and those guys here, they're, well, the alliances are not bad, but they're way too young or too old to make any more build children. Simon also comes of age. Let's check him real quick. Ah, uh, and he's diplomacy skill. Line, so charismatic negotiator. And I hope they make some babies now, but not the trade that I wanted for him. Um, also, I'm not married, I know. And we have an empty council position. My son and heir, he's got 15 stewardship. He might be a good one. I also have a very angry vassal here of Swabia. Um, where is he? Alright, he's a duke as well, so I, I might actually give him something. Even though my son, of course, is the better the overall better player here, but I should keep my, my vassals happy there as well. Right. -o. We can still ransom some vassals here. She actually likes me anyway, so let's put it out there. And we have the trait that they're not joining any faction against me. We also have a proposed alliance here with Burgundy. And, oh, this is pretty good. Burgundy is strong. Let's accept. We have now an alliance with Burgundy at least. That is something. A shady discussion. I'm passing through. Okay, who is it? Elizabeth with Dietrich, my knight. I will have them bound and delivered to Nushin. And she likes us more because of that. They conspired against her. So it's mostly the same events then that happen at some point. Um, also, something else here perhaps? Powerful vassals we still have. Yeah, election going on, but my prince, my son is the heir. And it stays that way until we die. We are 59, so we might die any moment now. Right. Can we still find something here? Nah, not really. We might just die solitary. Alright. My emperor is still fighting... And losing. Alright, and control and culture has been changed now in Trent as well. Plus the city is finished building. Um, it belongs now directly to us. And Trent is now fully integrated in the whole thing. A feast in Lyon. Quite a long distance. Do we have a truce with him? No, we don't have a truce. So we might actually go with a new with Sundgau now as well. Let's just pause there real quick. Sundgau is still independent. I mean, this is amazing. How did he manage that? He's still independent within the Empire of Francia, basically. So it's time to really integrate him into the whole thing. Um, he's got no allies. I have the more powerful one. Seize the Duchy of Alsace. Seize the County of Sundga. We have to assure a claim on that. Um, he's, of course, vastly inferior. And we declare war on that. Raising my armies. While we are on a feast, we're doing the whole thing. And painful entertainment. Pieces of sharp metal in some of the dishes, splinters on the chairs, small accidents, promising bruises. Sitting at the head of the table, my nephew, Count Simon, cannot hide the cold smile spreading across his face as another lady, Gisela, spits blood in onto <laughs> under a plate. What? This is unacceptable. We gain... A oh, but we gain 35 prestige. Or I'll take care of Gisela now. Let's do this. 
Um, we could all tell Count Simon had too much to drink even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from a seat proved too much for him and now I'm covered in stinking vomit. What is going on? What guy is this here? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And we do gain some stress because of that. This is not a successful feast at all. We're returning home. I will remember the day spent. Yeah, of course I will remember this. We gained the trade Eagle Reveler. At least some diplomacy there. But even more stress. Oh god, and we have another mental breakdown. We lose this once again by saying goodbye to Matthias. But I'm pretty sure that he will, you know, come back at us again. Alright, let's take the county here real quick. Altering the deal, my, my vassal Duchess Engeltraut has a contract with me that is quite lenient, exempting her from many of the obligations I would typically expect from one of my vassals. Um, paying some money so the feudal taxes are increased, sounds like a good deal. Do we have someone new now that I could marry? What is with her? She's slow. Nope. Let's just ch have a look there again. Yeah, there's a bit, a few more powerful ones. Leon once again, but too young. Oh, they're all too young. Fürstenberg, that is within my realm. There's really no good wife at the moment. Professional workforce, so building construction time minus 30%. This is incredible, by the way. This is extremely powerful. We've won the war. Let's enforce demands. And Sundgau belongs to us now. It's in our realm. Um, another county for us. He's now a vassal in the whole thing. And he's also now, of course, in the Empire of Frankia once again. And Bavaria is so incredibly strong. This guy here is the heir. And then his granddaughter. Unfortunately, I don't have a son right now, otherwise I would marry them. Um, I need a new steward. My son could take it. I also have a very powerful vassal here that doesn't have anything yet. So, of course, we're going with him. Um, changing the culture of something once again. Zurich, right? Yes. I would like to do that. Alright, so far so good. We have increased our size there a bit. But still, we have the problem with Bavaria in general. That we need to focus on at some point now. Stay tuned.